I get asked this question all the time. Claudio, how do I draft an ideal day and week? Well, here's the thing, guys. If you were a client of mine, and we were doing a one-on-one -on -one session today, here's the way you do an ideal day and week. Firstly, this is where most agents get it wrong. They start with their business stuff. They start writing like prospecting nine to 11. Then they have like vendor reports, you know, 12 till one. Then they have buyer appointments, two till three. And they start doing all the business stuff first. You really know where you gotta start when you create an ideal day and week? If you wanna get into rhythm and flow in your life, start with you. Yeah, that's right, you over there on the other side of this camera. You need to start with what are the things that you wanna put in that's gonna make you feel good? because it's all about the feeling, right? And if you've seen some of my videos previously, that's the goal at the end of the day. So let me just give you an example how I would lay out an ideal day and week if I was in real estate today again. Number one, start with myself. So gym, 4.30 in the morning. I know it's a crazy hour, but that's the time I like to head to the gym. 4.30 to 5.30 is gym time. 5.30 to six o'clock, it's stretching and meditation time. Again, it's my me time. Then the other things that I put in, is for example with my me time is things that I might do like go for a surf. If I like to go for a surf a couple of times a week, I put those little things in my diary. Sunday night, yoga class, 6 p.m. That's my time, I love it. That goes in my diary. So I put all the things that make me feel good. If you remember the late great actor, Robin Williams, right? Did a lot of Academy Awards, both in drama and comedy. He was the ultimate. But at the end of the day, we all know that, you know, he took his own life. And when he took his own life, at the event, he wasn't happy within. And happiness starts within you first, and then it's really gonna cherish and go to those on the outside. So you need to think about what are the things that are gonna make you happy first in your ideal day and week. Second is I put family stuff. Family stuff looks like Thursday night, I pick up my kids from tennis squad, Friday night, we have a family dinner together where we go to the local pizzeria or the local restaurant, whatever that may be, but it's Friday night, it's our little treasured time. And we also have Sunday lunches together as a family, and that could be also meeting with my mum and dad. They're getting a little bit older today, but it's super important that I try and make time to catch up with them. So number one is my me time, and number two I put in is family time. Guess what number three is? Eh, eh, ain't business personal development. If you want to continue to grow and move the needle in your business to continue to feel like you're making progress, a sense of achievement, and you're feeding this thing the right things, stop listening to the radio in the morning and start listening to podcasts or watching videos like me and you here today, but start getting into some things that can actually help you in your life rather than getting all the weed stuff that comes in. So number three is personal development. Number four, as you put it into your ideal day and week, then you put the business stuff. And that could be like prospecting nine to 11. It could be a buyer appointment two to three. It could be, for example, doing vendor reports, you know, 12 to one, whatever it may be, but you have your whole week planned with all the business stuff. So they're the four key parts that you need to look in an ideal day and week. Don't start with business, because at the end of the day, when you do that, you don't have time for yourself and you don't make yourself happy. Because if you don't look after yourself first, guess what's gonna happen? you're gonna feel like you're gonna go through life and it just feels like you're on this massive, like, you know, the mouse wheel, and you just keep going and keep going and keep going and you don't get ahead and you don't feel happy.